folks, this is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We go five days a week, we go seven hours a day, we go 24 hours a day in the internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone's having a great day, safe day. And it's not a TGIF, folks, it's a TGI decade, which is pretty wild, man. So, the four agreements, that's the, the cards that I read every day, folks. I, you know, and I'm just looking at this deck right here. This deck, I think I've probably had for 20 years. Still in pretty good shape, too. So, I, and I suspect at the beginning of the decade, I read this card, because this is a great card just for all around. Check it out. Always do your best. Take action on your ideas. Doing your best means to take action on your ideas. You can have many great ideas in your head, but without action upon that idea, there'd be no manifestation, no results, and no reward. Mechanized! Mm -hmm. Let's take a look at it out here. We have the Dow Industrials down 32, NASDAQ up 11, S&P's down 2, gold contract up $4.30, trading at 1522 an ounce, silver. Silver down six cents, seventeen dollars ninety-three cents an ounce. Light sweet crude off sixty-one cents, sixty-one dollars eight cents a barrel. Notes and bonds. You get the ten-year down eight ticks, trading one twenty-eight oh nine. The thirty-year off twenty-one ticks, one fifty-one nineteen. And king dollar, king dollar down two hundred fifty-three ticks, trading ninety-six four eighty-eight. Euro is at one twelve. Yen is at one oh eight point six four, and the pound is at one thirty-two to one U.S. dollar. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. Give us a call, folks. Want to know what's going on in your world. In the world of the S&Ps, let's take a look at them. What do you have? Okay, so it's, you have two weeks of holiday trading. You know, that was with Christmas as well as New Year's being the middle of the week. Bottom line, you know, yesterday you basically come off the highs. Uh, SPY came down with the 49 million shares. You're at 23 right now. That'll probably do about 30. Um, it hit $320.15. You get light volume. You come in at option expiration, which was December 20th. Bottom line, that's saying to me that even Thursday, Friday, will kick into high gear on January 6th. More than likely, this thing is going to try to hit the highs one more time, and then, you know, we'll see how this uh, baby shakes out. NDX 100 is set up the same way. We take a look at the NDX. You'll see the NDX is set up the same way. Bottom line. Um, NDX has rejected lower price out here today at uh, $211. You get down to 211 yesterday. Yesterday you had 21 million shares. You're at 12.3 right now. Uh, so bottom line is that expected, yeah, yeah you'll go up and touch this uh, high once again. And bottom line, we'll see whether it can hold price. Gold contract. What do we have with the gold contract? Gold contract out here. Gold contract out here is up. Four and a half bucks, you have done 207,000 contracts. Now, that's big contract volume, particularly on a holiday uh, trading week, folks. Okay, we're at the top of the range. The top of the range inside the gold right here is the 1525 to 1527. Bottom line, you're pushing that top of the range with volume. That's telling me that gold wants to get up to the 1571 area, which is the highs of September 4th. We're going to take a look at King Dollar, and it's all about King Dollar. So, King Dollar, folks has broken its uptrend that it's been in since February of 2018. Um, you get a break. The break's with conviction. It's a decent break. What that is setting up, that is setting up, number one, that you go after the 95 area. And number two, the real kicker is that uh, what is going to be wide open after that 95 area is the lows of 2018 which is 88.253. And what that's all about is that the euro f finally stopped moving out here. So the euro has been in a downtrend also since February of 2018. That is on the verge of kicking the downtrend. Hasn't quite done it yet because, that well, it's done it, but I want to see it do it with conviction. With conviction means, you know, we don't have volumes on these. So conviction, most times conviction is that you got wide price spread, you get accelerated volume. In this particular case, I want to see that wide price spread, you know, and in both cases, you can make the case that the first break was the week of December 13th, you know, but I want to see a nice wide bar there. You get a nice wide bar there. That's saying that the euro wants to go back to 125. We're at 112. The euro bottomed out at 109. The pound, the British pound, that had already changed course 
and that is showing strength right now. And of course, uh, that's all it's really going to take is that the pound as well as the euro going higher to basically push the dollar lower. Uh, pound up here, we're at 132.29, and with game out here, you know, you got 143 is game as well as 150. So you're going to get some, uh, I suspect we're going to get some qu quite a bit of action inside the currency markets. And in fact, uh, if you're up in Canada or I mean, you're in Australia, we got plenty of uh, listeners in Canada. Um, the Canadian dollar, you know, as, the, as our dollar uh, just backed down slightly, the Canadian dollar really got stronger. We just went from 133 to 129. This bar out here today is a monster. So the Canadian dollar is getting some strength under it, and you just, you almost broke the consolidation. The Canadian dollar saying it wants to get out of 120. And uh, that's, that's going to save the Canadians a huge amount of money, uh, no doubt, when they are uh, basically vacationing in Florida, which they love to do, and we'd love to have them here. Um, because we're not only, you know, you know, it's wild too, folks, okay? So Tampa, you know, they, they've only got the lightning, you know, not that long ago, I don't know, 10, 15, maybe 15 years ago, I'm not sure. But the bottom line is that, of course, you know, a lot of Canadians are, Huge hockey fans, too, and uh, bottom line is that uh, uh, Tampa St. Pete has turned into a huge hockey town. Now, let's go take a look at, so Netflix is, uh, you know, if we take a look at Netflix in the, in the course of uh, 10 years, folks, bottom line is that this is pretty intense. You know, you get, uh, why not go back and look at 10 years? So you get a stock from $6.93 10 years ago to, 3, 000, to 322 and of course, without we got to get into Bitcoin. Bitcoin is tremendously down from its highs, but guess what? If I bring this back 10 years, this doesn't, this doesn't, this is like hard to comprehend uh, number-wise because Bitcoin 10 years ago, folks, was 21 cents. Yes, that's 21 cents to one, 21 pennies up to 7,447. So just matters when you got into Bitcoin. No doubt about that. Dow, Dow Industrials uh, down 21, Nasdaq up 13, S&P's flat. You stay right there, folks. We're going to come back with our man, Mr. Basil Chapman. Come right back.